What's up, my gente, my fuegos? Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to be using my Infinity Oracle. Find any of my decks on my Etsy shop or in the link in my bio. Let's see what's going down. What do you need to know and love? What do my peeps need to know and love? Let's see here. Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. So, yo. So, we have secret love. Somebody could be secretly in love or you have a secret love affair going on. Okay. You, you, you have a very passionate connection with this person. Or it could also represent somebody who is secretly in love with you. Now, we have walking blindly, okay? You may not know where you're going or where this connection is going, but you are just going by faith. All you know is that you have feelings for this person or they have feelings for you, and you're just walking into the situation with hopes, okay? With hopes, not knowing what the outcome is, not knowing how it's gonna, where it's gonna lead and stuff. So then we have rituals. Some of you guys could be taking care of yourselves, you know, practicing self-care, self-love, cleansing yourself you could also be into like doing some type of ritual perhaps you did a ritual and you are you know experiencing with it or you're like a, an experienced bruja or whatever um it could be many things so apply it to your situation let's see what else we have here we also have freedom all right, so somebody is single here or you like your freedom. We, ha we also have um, restoring faith. So somebody is definitely wanting to restore their faith. And, you know, in the spirit world, you could also be, if you had problems with a specific lover who perhaps you have been longing for, right? You haven't seen them in a while. Maybe they're longing for you. Um, you're longing for them. Perhaps... Somebody has been liberated for, you know, quite some time from this connection. And now it's like they're wanting to come back with you. They're wanting to restore this connection. Right? They could have let you go. Like, if you love somebody, let them go. So I feel like you could have done this to them. They could have done this to you. Now somebody is definitely longing for the other person. Trying to get back into their spirituality. Cleansing them of their past fuckery. And trying to get right with God and with spirit. Yeah, look at that. We got true love. So someone is definitely dealing with a soulmate twin flame. Some of you could also be in a third party situation. Let's see here. Oh, we have money, guns, and alcohol. So you see, they're trying to, someone's trying to clear themselves of their past fuckery. Like they could have been into some hardcore drugs. Maybe they got into some gangs, uh, also picking up gang members. They could also be into like hustling, you know, drugs and stuff like that. Just stuff that really got them in trouble. And someone is definitely, like I said, trying to get right. I'm also picking up that if somebody was locked up for something, like your person or maybe you, somebody was locked up, right? Maybe they were your pen pal or whatever, but your person could have gotten in trouble before in the past. They are definitely getting out of jail now or they're free to get out of jail and they're trying to make things right with you know with god in it with with you too trying to restore the connection between you guys um and this was someone that you were waiting for you were very much in love with yeah this is see we have your mind whenever i see this card your mind it reminds me of those little valentine's day heart candies where it says your mind be mine so something about valentine's day perhaps they're going to surprise you okay especially because we have the rose here so they could be handing you the rose like hey you're the one for me you're mine i'm claiming you okay let's see what else we have we have embracing the light like i said someone is restoring their faith in god and the universe um they're trying to do right by you know doing good for you if you guys have a family they're trying to do right for their family they're trying to leave this this toxicity behind they're trying to liberate themselves from it i uh, also feel like someone could have got out of rehab as well and now they're embracing their so uh their sober life sobriety let's see what we got so we have bad intentions so someone could be dealing with so this person could also be dealing with an ex 
who has bad intentions to try to get them back into these toxic ways. So be careful with this person. They could be like an ex-wife or ex-husband that, that might tempt them to get them back in this. They could be like bad influence friends that try to like make them fall again, like get them back into these toxic ways, even though they try to liberate and clear themselves up from the situation. And that could have blocked you guys from your connection because it got real toxic. So just be very careful with this person. This could be a karmic or an ex or a friend that might tempt them to get back into their, you know, toxic ways. We also have leading you on. So look, you could have been leading them on or someone could be leading them on in a very negative way. Like I said, to get them to fall back into their old ways. But if this is representing you, perhaps you are trying to move them in your direction so you can try to heal them and liberate them from this type of lifestyle, right? You're getting, you're climbing into this connection blindfolded, like with faith, hoping and praying that, you know, things work out for you guys for the best. We also have entertain. So some of you guys could be in the entertainment business or they could be into music or that you could be, you know, an entertainer, a stripper, uh, perhaps a dancer, or it just could have something to do with entertainment, maybe in the public eye, perhaps. We also have healing love. So yeah, you guys are trying to heal this connection. You know what I mean? Trying to restore what you guys had, trying to purify what was once pure and, you know, until it got toxic and shit. But like, I feel like someone really wants to change and only you are the one that can help them. You and your spirituality, your love, your affection that you have for this person. You know how to heal them with your divinity, with your love, your unconditional love. Someone is going to be walking side to side. <laughs> sing, Ari, sing. So we also have low key. So someone could be low key in love with you. Or you could be low key in love with someone too. Like they could be keeping it to themselves as well. Maybe the, perhaps you haven't spoken in a while. If this is a different situation, right? And they're like missing you. They remember the last time they were happy. And like they think about you when that comes up. We also have festivities. So maybe perhaps you are a, vest a festive person. Or there's a birthday party coming up. A celebration coming up. You guys like to go on adventures together. You know what I mean? Because you're like a very spirit, uh, a free spirit, and you like to have fun. You could, you know, you could be into festivities, or something's gonna come up where you guys spend some quality time and make things, you know, like a dating thing for Valentine's Day or whatever. You go, you, you know, they plan something festive, perhaps, and they're low key trying to plan that so that you don't find out. I think it's gonna be like some type of surprise for you. Well, not no more if I said it right. <laughs> not no more if I said that. Oopsie. Then we have spiritual journey. So yeah, definitely that. Someone's trying to get right. Like I said, get back on that right path. Get Trying to get them away from these, you know, negative influences as well. So look at that. We got yes, it's ladies night and we're feeling right. I'm telling you, festivities, you might, get, you might go out with your friends, have some fun, try to liberate yourself a little bit, especially if you're dealing with like negative people, negative influences, you're, you're just like, you know what, I need to go out and have some fun. You might be, you know, planning something this weekend. You might even meet somebody new, like this new love that you might even meet during this ladies night out. So let's get one more. Let's see what comes Oh my God, we have in your arms and chosen. Look at that. You see, again, going back to the true love, your mind and in your arms chosen. Someone's about to be chosen. Someone's about to be proposed to. So somebody is low key planning some type. I honestly feel like it could be a proposal. They're being very sneaky, right? They're being very secretive, <laughs> but it's for the best. They might even do it when you're out, you know, having fun. They might cause a scene in front of your homegirls or your family members and, you know, try to make things right between you guys. So, yeah, that's very exciting. Congratulations for whoever this is for. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. Short, simple, and sweet, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.